F1 Manager 24 Database Editor. In this video, I'll show you guys how to download, install, and use the editor. This editor has a lot of features driver transfers, you can change the current grid, you can put future contracts on any driver's stuff, you can change the driver attributes, you have a custom calendar, and whatnot. A lot of features. You can also change car features, engine features, track your performance throughout the season, your performance relative to the AI performance as well. Right, now, now let's show you guys how to install this. So I'm using the zip method because so far I've had zero issues with that. So click on code and download zip. Now each and every link will be required in the, in the description. And the process is 95 or rather 99% similar to the 23 version. Click on code, download zip. Choose your directory. I usually select downloads. Once it's downloaded, right click, show more options, 7 zip, and extract to this file name. Now I have already downloaded and extracted this over here. Download these software as well Node.js, Python. If you are using the zip installation, if you, but I would recommend downloading Git, Git as well, just in case if you decide to change your mind. Download Node.js, Python, and Git. Now to download, download Python. There's a particular step which I would highly encourage, or rather not highly encourage, it is like a necessity. Make sure to check this box. If this box is not checked, the installation will be incomplete. Your editor will not work. Once that is done, you can open up your F1 manager. There's no need to make a fresh save. You can apply these changes to existing save as well. And uh, And in case if you should you forget to make a backup of your save, there's no need to worry. You can simply rename your save to whatever you want, like save one. It has to be in the nomenclature of save one, two, three, four. And I load this one of 1622. Oh yeah, first things first, I would not recommend making any changes in the database editor or rather the save file which is already in a weekend weekend preparation. Like as you can see, this save file is in a weekend um, week, in, in the middle of a weekend. The ability to rename a same say would have been such a gift, but Frontier Developments decided not to have that feature. So that's the disappointment. Start and press save as well. Simply head to main menu and start a fresh save. Formula One. The adrenaline... the click any team you want and choose any team you want and click confirm. Right. Now make sure to save a new save. Now usually the nomenclature in the save file is save one, save two, save three, and save four. So the first save is save one, save two, save three, save four, and this should no wait, save zero, save one, save two, save three, and save four. So McLaren save the first save that we just created is save four. Your save files will be located in under C drive, C drive, users, username, and app data. If you cannot see app data on Windows 11, click on view, show, and make sure the hidden item option is checked. App data, local, click anywhere, click any folder, and just tap F on your keyboard. F1 Manager 24 should be the first folder. Click on open it, open the saved one. And this is our McLaren save. Now copy this and head back to the 
path where your database editor was just extracted. Managing McLaren in this save, we can go to McLaren, max out every every uh, facility. Now I would not recommend doing this if one of these facilities is under construction because it then creates a bug. You can go to attributes, drivers, select your driver, let's say page 3 and we can change his stats to say if you want him to be 90, yeah, he can be 90. If you want him to be better than Max Verstappen, he can be better than Max Verstappen. As far as I know, Smoothness, the better the smoothness, the better tire conservation trait of the driver. Adaptability will be wet weather, reactions and accuracy is related to qualifying. Rest all is basically race course. Cornering, I think, is also related to qualifying, but I'm not sure. Now, Oscar PS3 is 93, and once everything is done, make sure you click on Save Changes. You can go to Staff, Technical Director. One good thing is that we have the names of the drivers and staff directly linked with the team colors as well which helps us recognize the staff fairly quickly and this guy can be 94 if i want him to be let's change him to 94 yep there he is save changes and we can do this for each and every staff as well for contracts we can have let's say we can if you want sebastian vettel can have Sebastian Vettel over here. Set a random contract. Let's say salary is 15 million. Valid till 2026. Signing bonus of let's say 1 million. Race bonus, let's say random. Let's say 500,000. And only if he wins the race. Confirm. Now he's over here. He should be at the end. Now Red Bull has a lot of drivers. Simply drag Vettel and put in Ovo Perez. There you have it. This pop up will show up once the transfer is successful. Max Verstappen, you can also edit his contract and have a future contract. Let's say if you don't like him or if you like him, you can say he's coming to McLaren or rather say he's coming to Williams. Let's say our future contract salary will be. 59 valid till 2027 and only if he wins his bonus shall be 2.5 confirm successfully edited that's what should pop up and there's the performance as well since zero races have been done in this save this will not this this uh, these lines will be just straight lines now you can edit car parts as in, if you want to say nerf Red Bull, you can change their chassis stats. You can change their front wing stats, rear wing, underflow, any part you want. If you want to modify the engine, you can go with say 80 or rather 18 percent. Right. With Ferrari or rather McLaren, I think is using Mercedes engine, so you can make them 95. Ferrari can be 97. Now make sure you ch um, change the engine durability wisely because I think if you say if you keep this at um, 6% it could create bugs like you could see a Red Bull retire. In fact since there are 4 Red Bull cars on the grid you could see a DNF every race and on any lap. So that's like a guaranteed safety car. Once everything is done click on save. This was save for. Close the editor, you work with the editor is done. Now select save for control C, head back to the directory where it was and paste it. It will ask you to replace the file, click on replace. Right. We simply have to load this. It will show up the updated time, which will be a good indication of everything that you, that will confirm that this was your latest save. In this save, as you can see, PS3 is 93, your staff is 94, everything as we changed.
uh, facilities should be maxed out as well. So, for the bonus part, we find ourselves in a pickle. We don't know what to do. The car setup thing isn't exactly as easy as we thought it was. You slide your sliders all the way to the right, all the way to the left, and then you check the setup. It's bad. One driver says it's bad, it's bad, good, bad, good, and bad. But the other driver, it's totally bad. When there is a fix for that, simply head over to this website, save.f1 setup.it. The links will be in the description and simply drag your save file. In my case, it's save 4 onto this website and then click on export optimal save file. You can re rename it to whatever you want. I'm going to keep it as save 4 and replace. Open up your game, click on load. And the setup should be optimal. But well, you won't know it to be optimal because, yep, it is actually optimal. I thought it won't be optimal. It is optimal. There you have it. This was the bonus part. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, if you have any doubts, thank you for watching. If you have any doubts, make sure to comment down below. I will reply to each and every single one of them. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe.